Hi! Today I'm demonstrating for you a simple and pretty Christmas card using the Stampin' Up! Jar of Cheer stamp set. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 15 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. You're going to love just how quick and easy it is to make my simply pretty Christmas card. Here's a closer view of the Jar of Cheer stamp set. It's from the 2016 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, and it was designed to coordinate with the Everyday Jars Frameless Dies from the 2016-2017 Stampin' Up! Catalog. But today we're going to be keeping it clean and simple using my favorite stamp from this set, the candle. And we're going to be doing some watercoloring. So what I have here is the Whisper White Thick cardstock. It has the same finish as the Whisper White cardstock that was designed so for beautiful stamped images, but it's heavier so it won't warp like just the regular Whisper White. And because I'm watercoloring, I need a permanent ink pad. So I have here the Basic Black Archival Stampin' Pad. We're going to push, flip, and lock that lid into place. And then I have my candle. So let's get this good and inked up. And then we're going to come down over here, not quite into the corner, but right about here. So let's just press everywhere for a good image. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty already. Okay, so I mentioned we're going to be using also the Star of Light stamp set. I'm going to be using it for the greeting, the sentiment, and look at this. This is so cool. It's going to, like the light, the flame from the light, look, here we go, on each side. How cool is that? It adds such a nice touch. And then for our greeting, the light of heaven. Okay, ink that all up. Come over here. And so I'm wanting it to fit in right about there. So let's do that. The light of heaven. Oh, fantastic. You know what? While we have it out, why don't we go ahead and finish the inside. And I'm using Whisper White Thick also for the base of the card. It's heavier and, you know, so it makes it sturdier and makes for a really good card base. So for inside the card, I have here, so we have the light of heaven became the light of the world and then Merry Christmas, all from the same stamp set. And I put both of those stamps on uh, one block. That's going to make it really easy, so let's go ahead and ink that up. Oh, there we go. So now we're ready to watercolor. We're going to start with the holly leaves to give them a chance to dry before I do the red berries. So I'm going to use the Emerald Envy Classic Stampin' Pad, and I'm pressing the pad down into the lid, and look, that puts ink right there, so now I can pick it up with my Aqua Painter. Love this for watercoloring, just can't brag on it enough. Okay, so this has a reservoir and I just have tap water in it. And so what I do every time, I squeeze to get the water going, I get off the excess, and then while I'm doing that, in case it didn't get put away clean, it'll get off any residual ink. Now we're gonna come over here and pick up our color. It's that easy. We're done squeezing. Don't squeeze anymore and just start filling in and it puts down the perfect amount of water. Oh, pretty. Boy, is this ever soothing. And this is going to go so quickly um, that you can sit there and let your heart rate come down while you watercolor, even if you make a hundred of these. Okay, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. And what a cheery color this is, the Emerald Envy. It considered garden green, but I like the brightness of this for our clean and simple card. Okay, there we go. We've got all the green filled in. So let's go ahead and pull on that, flip, and we heard that click, it's shut. Now we're going to change colors, so we're going to squeeze again. And I just have a paper towel, napkin, whatever. Sometimes I pants. <laughs> and let's go ahead and do the flame. So I have crushed curry. All right, pressing down to get some ink into that lid. We just cleaned that. I'm not squeezing. Let's come over here and pick up some more and color in. Nice. Now let's go ahead. And so this is the light 
the light of the world, right? Oh, so pretty. Doesn't this just add a lot to that candle? And then that we have such great sentiments and greetings with that Star of Light stamp set too. Okay, so we're done with that. And now, how about some pumpkin pie? This is where um, it shows that the flame is a little bit hotter, right? Where it's orange or red. So we're just gonna pick up a little bit. And I'm glad that it's not quite dry because I want my color to blend. So there we go, right in there. That little touch adds a lot to this card. Click, we know it's shut. Okay, so that's been drying a little bit. So for our last, we're gonna use the real red. Let's press and get some ink into there. Oh, lots of ink. Okay, let's squeeze and clean this up. Good. And let's come over here and pick up some red and start coloring in. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'm going to go up to, and not necessarily touch that, um, the holly leaves, get close to it so it, they stand out a little bit better. Okay, there we go. And when you watercolor, a lot of times there is a bit of a void. So we've got that. So let's go ahead and pick up a little bit more color. Let's give it some shading. See, they already showed us where it should be darker with the lines. And then we've got our drip. We make that stand out a little bit more. Some extra color on there. Okay. Oh, looking so good. All right, so now let's pick up some nice intense colors that hasn't been diluted, and let's color in our berries. There we go. Just tapping those. And see how quick this goes? Quick, quick, quick. There we go. We are done watercoloring. Put that away. And you know what? Why don't we go ahead and clean this off so it'll be all set next time. And now all we have to do is put it together. And so I started off, my first design had it just on the base and it looked really pretty. And then I thought, boy, I wonder what it would look like if I gave it just a small layer of the basic black. Wow, it just pulled it all together. So pretty. I only cut this a quarter or an eighth inch bigger. So it's only a sixteenth all the way around. And I'll have the measurements, the link to it, to my blog, the measurements for the card. So I have here some Fast Fuse adhesive. And so I'm going to put about an inch in each corner. There we go. And look, we did all that watercoloring and it's not buckled at all on the other side. And so here, just that small border I think is so elegant for our clean and simple card. There we go. And then onto our Whisper White Thick cardstock base. And so I could just put it down flat, but you know what, Stampin' Dimensionals just really dress up a card. It steps it up. It's so easy to do. So let's go ahead and we're going to put one in each corner. And because it's a big piece, let's put one in the center too for some extra support. There we go. Okay, and so when you go to peel these off, if they don't peel off easy like those just did, boy, those are just coming up real easy. Okay, that one didn't. So take your thumbnail, and mine are short. So just press down in the center, and then it picks up at the sides for you, okay? All right, and one more. Boy, I'm so glad this card is, it's really pretty and it's so easy to make because this is my December thank you card for everyone who places their Stampin' Up! orders with me. And there we have it, simple and pretty Jar of Cheer Christmas card. If you'd like to make my simple and pretty Jar of Cheer Christmas card, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And remember, when you place your December 2016 Stampin' Up! order with me, I'm going to send you one of my simple and pretty Christmas cards. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching. <music>